out of the fuel filler tank cap. These ones are still leaking. Okay, so today we've constructed most of the wing. We're now starting to pull stringers apart so we can deburr, countersink, paint, ready to put them back together and we'll put the rivets in, fuel tank in. So we have it sitting on the bench. We've put our 27 mil block in. Don't know if that works for the washout, but you can see the washout through there and the other side sitting flat. Righty ho, mid-May, Hornet update. At the moment, currently working on the back end. So I've just pulled the tire wheel back off again and installing these uh, top plates and bottom plates and some supports that go across the top there to get it ready to mount up the tail plane and uh, vertical fin. A slight delay, haven't been working on this for a little while, just been concentrating on this little project. I'm tackling a aluminium twin-engine drone, UAV. So, the majority has been, been built now. We have uh, a couple of these, twin cylinder, 60cc's, front and back, twin engine for redundancy, and um, vertical takeoff and landing, all aluminium, there's the outside wings, engine three parts, centre wing. Google project. Anyway, back on the wallet. Right, oh, one right hand wing. Is it right to be covered up? Just ran the wires today for the lights, strobes, main lights, fuel tanks in, all the wiring to the fuel sender, um, fuel vent line, and the fuel line. Ooh, it's bloody cold here this morning, frost outside. Progress so far on the starboard wing. All but complete, just got to finish rolling this inboard skin and the <coughs> skin on the inside. Inboard. Fuel lines are in. All the wiring to the strobe and paying lights. Here we go, all plumbed up. Now I'm just working out locations for these cool aero LED strobes and navs on the wing tip. But yep, coming along nicely. Nearly completed one wing. Right out, we're beating Mike Patey. We've got one wing done. Quick. Back to work. This back, way. <laughs> back to work. <laughs>